I just want to show you I'm clipping to the rim in a couple places I think just two places to hold the curtain there are weights in these inexpensive shower curtains but it seems like the clear plastic one is heavier and I'm going to replace it with a clear plastic but I want to do it with the frosted to show you that there are two so you could um, tell where one begins one ends so I'm keeping that there then I'll enter right here like that and I'll be able to double it over so even though it'll it flake um, um, goes out a little bit I'll still be able to not get anything wet um, you could use of course probably a Rubbermaid I saw a pretty good Sterilite container yesterday at Walmart that I thought about getting um, for me it's a matter of storage after I'm using the shower something that I can put easily and because that's so shallow and thin it's easy for me to store. If I could find a Rubbermaid container or Sterilite container that fit over something I already had on top of it so I could just slip it off without you know removing all the weight of my 50 pound books or my 50 pound crystals that I'm carrying I would try that. So I'm still open to suggestions on what would work better and um, most importantly is how I'm going to attach it to my rig to make it easy up and easy down. I think also, I mean, it's possible that I would prefer just having one piece of plastic all attached so I could just take it down easier. But what I've done is I have connected these kind of permanently. So when I take this down, I'm gonna keep it all connected. And as you see, I've um, labeled those right center back. So I know which side is which. This is right center front. So when I put it up again, I'll know um, which is which so it'll be speedy. The, the most important part is that this is fast, easy to get up, inexpensive, easy to take down. So this is what I'll be using today, my quick dry camp towel from REI, which really does quickly dry and it's fairly large. And I'm not using biodegradable products today, so I will be emptying this into my sink to go into my holding tank when I dump it. Little thing of shampoo and some nice smelling um, shower gel. One other thing before I take the plunge is um, this is really easy to set up the night before. I actually set this up um, the night before so if I have a concert that I have to give early in the morning, I can set it up and have it all ready. Um, but I want to take a shower in the morning so I'm not sleeping on wet hair and then it comes out worse and it went in. Uh, so this can all go towards my sink to let me pass through during the night or it can go, all go towards this area here and let me walk through the other way, whichever is more convenient. So all done and I feel fresh and clean. And I did use the complete 16 ounces and I think in the future I would fill it up to the top just to have a little bit more but it can be done and even though my friend Kathy is dubious that I could actually take a shower in 16 ounces of water it can be done and uh, 11 ounces would be reserved for just your hair though I did realize that now as you can see you can see little droplets on the clear pane I tried to just spray it straight down on me so a lot of water wouldn't go on the um, shower curtain so I wouldn't have to clean it up later um, but some did get on there but not too much and I can just even wipe that down with my towel I could put it outside if it weren't so windy and it could just dry off I could just let it air dry here and um, I do like the clear curtain better because then I can see out the windows and it's just beautiful with the sun shining in but if you're living with someone else you might and you want privacy you might prefer the all frosted um, option and then as we go in here to see the water you'll see that there really isn't that much water I mean it even looks like less than 16 ounces but it was it didn't even go near where the drain would have been to drain it outside um, so I'll just dump that into my sink and that'll be nothing that'll be no worries at all um, I did get a cap that fits over this so if there were going to be a lot of water in some application, it wouldn't leak on my floor. Um, I'm thinking also getting a plug for this part right here instead. But it all has leaked in here. Nothing has gotten wet. This side did get a little bit wet 
on the ground. The wettest parts are, you know, obviously the bottom. But as you can see, it really worked. <laughs> and this is 24 by 26 in circumference. And I found that it's pr just wonderful for being able to have enough room to get the shower over my head. And I, my, my arms or elbows weren't touching the ceiling or the sides of the curtain. So that worked out great as well. I did really like the holster method here because it enabled me when I was washing my hair to just sit the um, shower gun right in here and it sat right on it didn't fall down or anything just like a holster. Uh, the only drawback this is neoprene so it will dry fairly quickly. The strap is not it's some kind of nylon or polyester. I think it will also dry quickly but that's the only drawback of using this this method then you do have to dry this off. Um, but I think it's a small price to pay for the mobility for such a frugal, fun, fast, um, portable RV shower when you don't have something in your van or your RV or your camper when you're on the road. So uh, please feel free to comment. I look forward to any options you, you might have experienced or experimented with. As you can see, I'm hanging my towel from this simple hook. And the simple hook has really proved to be a revelation for me. Um, in the past, when I take my clothes off at night, if I don't want to put them away, um, I would just store them on the seats here. And, you know, then I couldn't sit down if I wanted to get up in the middle of the night and write in my journal or have a cup of tea or something. So I've been using this little suction cup hook here. That, so I can just hang my shirt and my pants on it at night and then it doesn't clutter up the seat. And now it's working perfect to help this dry in the sun from the window. Okay, I just took the shower enclosure down and I just tucked it outside on my bumper to dry um, with the wind. And I also put the holster out there as well. And that's all there is. That's is. I'm going to try to put this back into the bottle and see how much water actually collected. Okay, so with the wind, this is turning out to be the hardest part, getting it out. So that's how much water remained. A little bit did spill going out the door. And ironically, that is the hardest part of the whole situation is making that go out. I didn't realize when I brought it in, I was, you know, flipping it up to get it through the door. But with water in it, you have to kind of pull it in. It, do, it is flexible, so it enables you to do that um and it was difficult with the 30 knot winds getting it out actually spilled a little bit on my camera but everything's fine um so i think i might try it with that sterilite container i found at walmart i think it's about the same price it's just it had a higher lip which is a positive thing it'll hold the curtain better might not even need clips in the bottom but i don't know if i have a place that's easy to store because it is larger um, I do like the round shape of the Home Depot furnace um, container. Um, you find that in the plumbing department, by the way, and sometimes it's up quite high depending on how they store it. But they do know what it is when you ask for it. Um, so I do like the way that fits right here, and it can even fit under the li lip of my um, counter there as well. So. I'm, I'm going to try that in the sake of experimentation and see if the Sterilite would work better. Um, I do believe it would fit through my door better without having to bend it. I think if it were not so windy and I wasn't fighting the wind and holding the camera, it wouldn't have been an issue. Especially with such little water that is left. And I did spell maybe an ounce or two, but most of that must be in my hair or in the towel or in the curtain because that's all that's left and I did start out with um, 16 ounces. As you can see, now that the portable shower is taken down and there's no permanent shower enclosure, I'm able to have a wonderful illusion of space in this tiny 17-foot RV. And now I can return to living life as usual as I explore and continue to explore my Woman's Walden's on Wheels vision quest. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas for your own portable shower and your own portable living situation. Make it a great day and celebrate life.